Technology is advancing faster than ever before. We literally have supercomputers in our pockets, we are able to move faster than the speed of sound, and we just might discover a way to travel across the stars one day. Along with all of these inventions, humans are now hypothesizing and trying to realize the idea of creating meat through tissue culture. People worldwide are coming to the realization of how cruel the meat industry is and just how much environmental degradation it's causing. Scientists are therefore trying to find a way to produce meat without being cruel to animals and without destroying the environment. So, should we vegans support this cause? Can we vegans consume lab-grown meat? And will tissue culture help create a vegan world? Let's find out. Firstly, a vegan supporting lab-grown meat is subjective. I for one personally support this endeavor, but allow me to elaborate. Lab-grown meat is formed by growing animal cells in a medium, and these cells can be obtained either from a live animal or a murdered animal. A startup by the name of Super Meat was initiated in Israel, and they claim that they are trying to find a way to produce tissue-cultured meat without needing to kill an animal. They claim that they need to extract serum just once from an animal, which is apparently a painless procedure in order to cultivate newer cells. Other scientists postulate that a constant supply of animal cells is needed in order to cultivate lab-grown meat, which once again means more breeding and more exploitation. Although I do not promote the idea to use animals for any purpose, I may have to change my stance on this one. Firstly, I am against the idea of having to breed or use animals to constantly replenish cells growing in a lab. This high demand for such lab meat will only lead to increased breeding of animals which will pretty much put us back in the same scenario we find ourselves in today. But say we're going to extract serum just once, and that process could lead to the decline of conventional meat consumption by say like 50%. Hey, I'm gonna support that endeavor. Now hear me out, I'm sure some people are going to say, but how can you support taking blood from animals? So what if it is not intrusive? It is still exploitation. Then how come you're against the milking of cows even if it is done in a non-painful way? You hypocrite. Firstly, I agree it's exploitation, which is why even though I back it up, I would never eat it. I am very well aware that what comes from animals is not vegan. And also, to compare injecting a needle into an animal to procure some serum, to stabbing, beating, bludgeoning, electrically prodding, raping, mutilating and murdering animals is simply stupid. As for milking, regardless of how painless it's done, dairy farms always involve breeding of animals whereas super meat and other similar startups do not. Look, I'm not going to walk around pretending I have an imaginary halo above my head. If this form of exploitation of animals, which does not involve taking off an animal's life, which does not involve breeding of animals, and which does not involve causing pain and suffering to animals, can help end the suffering of billions of animals worldwide by causing a huge decline in the demand for meat consumption, then I will support it. If you are a vegan and you do not agree with my stance on this, well, let's agree to disagree. And do note, this lab meat which comes from animals is not vegan. Lab meat is not for vegans, it is for non-vegans. Animal products can never be vegan, period. And now the final question, will lab-grown meat help in creating a vegan world? No. It won't. Please do note that veganism is not only about what we eat or what we wear. It is a mindset, it is an ethical code that we follow. Now, if someone were to say that they would stop eating conventional meat only if lab-grown meat was cheap and available, that is, they would stop paying for the abuse, murder, rape and torture of animals only if their civilization's technology was advanced enough in order to produce dead bodies of animals without actually breeding them in order to appease a single organ present in their mouth, I think it's safe to say that that person's not a vegan. And if the whole world becomes like that person, the world is not vegan. Not to mention, startups like Super Meat will surely end the suffering of billions of animals raised in the meat industry. But what about animals who are bred for milk, for eggs, for silk, for honey, and for so many more animal products that we humans continue to selfishly use? This sadly paints the picture and shows to us that Super Meat could help in decreasing the suffering of billions of animals in this world but cannot create a vegan world. I back up and support super meat because it can make a difference for the animals in a positive way without any negative repercussions. But to end the violence as a whole, we need to live vegan and continue educating others on the same. So please live vegan. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.